do you smoke pot? Because I think weed make really great best buds. You know, I honestly don't know why everybody says I'm so hard to deal with. The rules are actually quite simple. Just keep me caffeinated and don't come at me with your bullshit. Quit smoking weed or die in 30 seconds. 30 seconds? All right. 29 more seconds till I die. I'm so excited. One of my favorite things about smoking weed is that after you do it, you get stoned. So I just smoked weed and now I'm stoned. And I love that. Do I have enough money for Taco Bell? No, I don't. But you know what I do have? I have this thing. And this thing brings me an indescribable amount of joy. What are you getting for Christmas? Stoned. I'm getting stoned as fuck for Christmas. Bowl packs and pre-rolls and cute little lighters. Grinders and trays so that you can roll tighter. Cute little jars you can store all your weed. These are the things every stoner girl needs. Could I not smoke weed? Probably. Would I just much rather smoke weed all day? Yes. That is how I view it. It only makes my journey through this life more comfortable, more palatable, easier to process, easier to manifest the things that I want to do. I could probably do it. It would just be a bit more of a fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> in Time Magazine, right? Time Magazine, it said in order for a person to overdose on marijuana, they have to smoke 900 joints within 24 hours. Okay, look, you would die trying to roll 900 joints <laughs> in 24 hours. <laughs> Can you imagine they had to hire people to do that survey? That's the job I wanna have, right? Just smoke weed all day? <laughs> I'll be like, huh, I'm early. <laughs> Where do I go? <laughs> That's your job, smoke weed all day. 676. <laughs> Was that 767? Fuck <laughs> <Bucket> start over. <laughs> Can you imagine, right? At the 900 joint, you're like, dude, if I smoke this, I'll die. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll just smoke half. <laughs> Hi. I know you are. But what am I? Hell, I need. I'm a mess without you. I miss you so damn much. <laughs> I miss being with you. I miss being near you. I miss your laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I, miss, I miss your scent. I miss your musk. When this all gets sorted out, I think you and me should get an apartment together. And I need you now, tonight I fucking need you more than ever How many of y'all are aware that there is whole ass fucking doctors out there that don't know jack shit about weed diabetes? Now y'all, I know weed diabetes is a real thing. I've had it since I was about 13. Basically how it works is if you don't have enough THC in your system, then your body starts acting all funny and shit, and you get woozy, feel dizzy. You could even possibly pass the fuck out. You know what I mean? Go into a lack of weed coma. You know? These motherfuckers don't know shit out there, y'all. Because I went to the ER talking about, there is way too much blood in my THC stream. Y'all got to help me, you know? And they was looking at me like I was speaking in motherfucking tongues or something. Look here, yo. My weed pressure is out of whack. I'm fishing to have a motherfucking stroke. Do something. Help a bitch with her weed diabetes. Prescribe granddaddy perp. You know, uh, fuck a THC content. I need to see the terpene profile. But hook me up, all right? Because I, I don't deserve to pass away in the ER. Ask a I just took a DNA test. Uh, it turns out I'm 100% THC. My mama told me I could be whatever I wanted. So I became a pothead. That makes stupid content and drinks a lot of coffee. That is not what I wanted. Oh well. Listen, don't, listen, don't. listen, listen, just listen, dude. We're past that. It wasn't intent to sell, dude. I just had it in those baggies because it, it was, I just like meal prep, dude. That's, it wasn't Get out. It's even in. Started to cry, but then remembered I. I smoke weed and I don't give a damn. And then I started thinking to myself, why be sad when you 
can just be smoking.